Welcome to another edition of Lifestyle Out the Five. Reinvent yourself. I am Ali. It's Laura Shu in the house again. So today we're gonna to talk about getting them steps in. Did you know that walking eight to ten thousand, taking eight to ten thousand steps a day can improve your life significantly? Improve it. Just simply going out there for a stroll, taking a walk, seeing what's going on, going through the neighborhood. Most of you want to know what's going on anyway. At least nobody <laughs> knows it. No. <laughs> what everybody else is doing. Take 10,000 steps to get there. <laughs> Yo, if that ain't a good selling point. <laughs> hey, good selling point. Those that want to know what everyone else is doing. Mm-hmm. Hey. Have at find, find you some people and, and count your steps while you're doing it. That's a benefit. Super benefit. But, it is. Uh, <laughs> That Ali mentioned it. We we talked about this. Um, we try to keep our steps. So me and Ali actively are doing this. We Ali Tay actually is better at this than I am. So he he goes for a walk at least once a day, right? Oh yeah. First thing I do when I get up, that's part of my uh, routine is to walk through the neighborhood. Not to be nosy, but I like to see. You no, know, I like the neighborhood. Just walk through, see what's going on in the neighborhood, changes and everything, and to get some of that sun. Let the sun hit me, wake me up. Yeah, if you vitamin D Energy. deficient, get up. Go yeah, outside. get some of that, get some of that sun, get some vitamin D in, and get my stroll, and that that sets the tone for my day. And then usually, if it's cool enough, sometimes it's been uh, very hot. Uh, I like to get an evening walk in when it cools down, kind of unwind a little bit. Right. I'm not sure if it's true, but I see a lot of Indians walking, so I believe in the Indian culture is tradition to walk after a meal you know after they eat dinner they'll go out for a walk so i've started doing that okay so we we on that subject so a lot of indians actually do they go for walks because uh i I feel like now this is starting to become a part of our of what we talk about on the show but um, i always like to mention ayurveda and basically a part of ayurveda is um during the nighttime routine if if you're not going to eat like something that's really warm or like a soup If you're going to eat something that's kind of heavy, then yeah, go for a walk. And uh, like he said, a lot of Indians do tend to go for a walk because some of them, not going to say all of them, but some of them practice Ayurvedic, um, Mm -hmm. have Ayurvedic practices. So, you know, it's just, it's smart for your digestion to go ahead and get the, burn those extra calories off, get the stomach going so that when you get ready to go to sleep, your stomach not up all night, actively burning calories when you're supposed to be trying to get REM sleep. So, you know, rapid eye movement sleep is the best sleep to get. And if you're not getting that, then you're not really getting real sleep. And it's messing with all users, Samsung users, oh, yeah. Samsung watches actually keep track of your REM sleep. It actually records your snoring. It's actually a feature. It can, it can track your That's steps. Tough. It tracks my steps. It lets me know which stages of sleep, which is amazing. I don't know how it knows which stages of sleep that I'm in. And it actually gives me a sleep score every night. And see, it's too much technology out here. You know, we really can take advantage of the technology to change our lives and make healthier changes at that. So just be wary of some of your habits. You know, just get out there in these streets, 8,000 to 10,000 steps, and you can track it every day now. But I think the biggest thing here is the health benefits behind it. So if, if you... If you just really want to know like some of the basic stuff, really walking eight eight thousand to ten thousand steps can help you in uh, aging. Obviously, you know that's just number one. It keeps mm-hmm. you keeps you uh, more you know more movable. If that's the right way to say that, more limber. Because a lot of the time when you I noticed that uh, mobile, people yeah. get older. Yeah, you notice how people get older, they tend to like lay in the bed more and you know watch TV and stuff like that. So just even if you don't go to the gym, start there. Start with just taking the steps every day. And 10,000 steps really can add add years to your life. You know, this isn't just something that we're saying. This is proven, backed by science. So, you know, do your research. See how many steps for that work for you. You know, if if you want to do the full ten thousand, try to find your sweet spot. You know, <laughs> but that's like, what you want to aim to. Yeah, exactly. You definitely want to aim to that because that's that's to me ten thousand steps is the sweet spot. You know, as always, get a walking partner. 
keep track of it with a watch some watches a lot of apps and watches mm -hmm. they they got where you can join in and and communicate with other people that's doing the walk partner mm -hmm. up and challenge each other they got little contests and challenges i know some pre previous places i have worked where they actually gave out cash bonuses have you done so many steps over a 30 day or a 90 day period or whatever they would give you 100 bucks 50 bucks yeah or whatever yo uh do you remember i don't know if you ever heard of sweat coin but do you remember that sweat coin no that's a new one okay so sweat coin they was like this was like early when when crypto first really started popping off but uh sweat coin came out with an app and basically you you it would track your steps and then you would like win prizes like ali talking about so there there's so many cool apps out now that really can you can benefit from this if you if there's really nothing that could just make you want to do this on your own then there there's some new initiatives to get you going <laughs> you just got to get moving we can't do the walking for you yeah exactly but now let's get out let's get moving and let's live a healthy lifestyle yeah that's what we do lifestyle after five i mean we do party and we do have fun but we handle business at the end of the day too that's what that's why we we work hard to party harder so get up yeah <laughs> after five let's get in gyms let's get our walk on and stay hydrated mm -hmm. get your yeah. water don't yeah make sure you stay hydrated get your sleep up you know i actually uh, i did want to ask you like where you at on your journey right now uh ali is every how you feeling right now like you think all of these things that we talk about with them is that is it making a significant change in how you operate it is you know i used to have heartburn a lot i don't know if it's contributed to the water but i haven't had heartburn lately you know See? i kind of watch what I, I, I eat i do the walks after i eat heavy meals so it's really been paying paying off uh, i'm feeling a lot strong i am a lot stronger now you know lifting weights in the gym uh, I, my blood pressure is, is been very well. I've been very pleased with my blood pressure. And if you haven't, blood pressure is a silent killer. If you haven't checked your blood pressure, especially if you're over 40, actually 30s to 40, make sure you yeah, check your blood pressure regularly. Say, for real. You'll feel fine, but that doesn't mean that, that you That don't are. mean nothing. Yeah. Yes, check your blood pressure regularly. And, so consult, many <laughs> and don't forget, with all of this, consult your physician. Mm-hmm. They'll know. I mean, like he said, it's a silent killer, man. You just never know. A lot of the times it could come in the form of you think, oh, you know, I just got a little tingling in my arm. That just happens every now and then. Yeah. Next thing you know, you have a damn heart attack. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, you just don't know. <laughs> well, like always, leave us some comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share. Yes. And let us know how you're progressing on your journey. And how Yo. you're moving. Are you making your 10000 a day? We like to know. Exactly. And we challenge you. We do challenge you. I mean, every episode, we're going to challenge you to something different. And don't worry if it seems overwhelming. If you scan the QR code and join our Discord, you won't be alone. You'll be with a family of people doing the same thing as you. You're not by yourself. So leave in the comments. We want to know your journey. We want to know where you at. If it's really helping you or not. You can tell us if we're doing bad. We want to know. Cool. Until next episode. See y'all later. Hey.